Hey guys, welcome to another late night edition of the Craft Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing a beer that OD sent me. You guys check him out, he's a cool dude. I got this for doing the Malt Liquor Challenge and joining the BDU. This is Pugsley's Signature Series Barley Wine Style Ale. There's a story wine in the back, 8.5% uh, ABV, made by Alan Pugsley. And it says in the back, it's named after Shipyard Brewing Company's master brewer, Alan Pugsley. Alan's from England, where he worked with Peter Austin at the world-famous Ridgewood Brewery before moving to the United States in 1986. Barley wine style ale is brewed in the true English tradition. This is a big beer made with six different malts, pale ale, crystal, caramunic, wheat, chocolate, and roasted barley, and balanced with a very full hop charge of Summit, Challenger and Fugles hops. It is a deep reddish brown color with complexity with a complex fruity nose, a very full body, and an interesting balance between grains and hops, which ends with a ple <laughs> excuse me, ends with a pleasing dry taste. To fully experience all the flavors, this ale is best enjoyed at 55 degrees. I don't know if you can see with this bottle's got some nice sweat on it and let it sit out a while. This uh, looks like a 22 ounce bomber, it's one pint six fluid ounces, so we're not going to be enjoying this entire thing in the beer review. And it's from Shipyard. Uh, I get some of Shipyard stuff out here, but I've never seen this. This is a nice little score. It's from Portland, Maine. I'll try to bring the bottle in a little better for you there, if you can see it there. It's got some foil on the top. Yeah, because Shipyard has that pumpkin. Holy shit, that thing is huge. Shipyard has some uh, pumpkin ale I've had, and I think that's the only thing I've seen from them out here. Yeah, we got the shipyard cap, all that beast. Once that light, oh, I can hear it moving around. Anyways, let's get a crack on this thing. Got the uh, shipyard brewing cap. Nice to not have a plain Jane cap there. And we're gonna have a pour here. can't see through this at all. Not the least bit. Very, uh, very dark red to brown color as stated in the back. Not much of a head, but you don't expect a lot of head with a barley wine. So, no worries there. Let's have a smell. Definitely get the alcohol. Definitely does has that winey smell that uh, barley wines tend to have. Picking up some hops. A lot of hop taste. A lot of hop taste. And the back of this was saying it's all the different malts. I notice in the back it does say pale ale malts. And this does kind of have a little hint of that pale ale smell. And that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. So, I mean, really, we're just sitting out here enjoying this night. It's got to be 68 degrees. No rain. It was supposed to rain all day. It didn't rain a drop. Just beautiful night to review a beer. Cheers, guys. Let's have a drink. Oh, shit. Um, anybody out there who's ever had some barley wines and had some experience with them. You know that a lot of times they tend to be really sweet. Really intense sweetness. This is nothing like that. And it is fantastic. Um, you can certainly get a little bit of chocolate taste to it. There's some hops in there. It doesn't taste anything like it smells. Because it does smell fairly close to what a typical barley wine would be. For example, the Dogfish Old School. Their big 15.5% uh, or maybe it's just 15%, but they're a big barley wine. And that's, it's, it's delicious. It's very sweet and things like that. But this is totally not what I expected. Um, glad I glad I dug this out the fridge. 
you know, it says full bodied on there. I'm not going to agree. I'm going to actually call this medium to full body because when I think of a full bodied beer, I think of something that's nowhere near a session beer. It means you can't just wolf them down. They are full. And all the wonderful flavors are right here. But it's drinkable, you know. This is this is a classy brew. Thank you again, sir Odeed. This is a classy brew. Um, really nice chocolatey taste to it. And it is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Most, like I said, most barley wines are really, really in your face sweet. This is just a really nice, nice ale to enjoy on the porch. It's a good night. Do you get some of the hot flavors? Up front, up front I get almost a, a chocolate cherry flavor up front. Or a chocolate, maybe, <coughs> maybe like, maybe not so much cherry, but like a chocolate dark fruit, if you will. That kind of taste up front. And then the end of the palate, there's a little bit of stain from that 8.5 alcohol. I mean, this is no joke. And then you, you, there, there's some of those hops there. And this is, like I said, this is fantastic. Well, with all these beers I've been doing through these beer mails, I gotta tell you, you guys have sent me some great beers. Some of the best I've tried have come out of state style to the PA. So I appreciate all the beer mail. It's always great to, you know, enjoy a nice beer like this on a nice night. This is like perfect temperature to enjoy something like this in my opinion. And since OD sent me this, I might as well give a shout out to some of the BDU, the Pope, Tiny Tim, Dorf, OD, Wish, U5, props, Top Minus, I forgot you last time, I didn't forget you this time, um, Nag, Black Metal Troy, cheers to you guys as well. Nice big swig for the BDU, but yeah, A beer right here.